Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting because I just put on Karen Swan's kick ass apparel activewear set. I don't really know what to call it, but anyway, this is her everyday bra, the everyday bra, and these are the everyday leggings. I went with the everyday just because they were smooth and they weren't like ribbed and stuff and I could wear them probably to work and everything just because they're black and I don't know, it just said everyday. So I'm gonna do a whole video, which is this video, dedicated to trying this out. I already fell in love with the leggings because dude, it really sucks you in man like they're like seamless so kind of similar to the lululemon leggings i don't know it's kind of just folded kind of like that tight material i will say it they are a little bit thicker than i expected but it's not like a bad thing i think that just feels like that because it holds you in more the top fits perfectly i can't get over how good it fits yeah don't stare at the back fat i'm sorry people i'm working on it um but this is what this looks like i went by the size chart and everything really fits true to size this is a size large and these are a size medium uh i don't know all the way up here just it's just bigger than the rest of my body. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you guys in my mirror. I really wanna take a cute picture, but showing this side, I'm gonna get some uh, back fat. Maybe I should make just like a disclaimer. That's pretty much the overview and intro. My first impression is I can't believe it fits true to size. This is not too tight or too big. These fit perfectly. The very, very first impression though is that the pants, I don't know if the top smells like this, but the pants smell like vinegar. And I don't know if that's to like keep it nice in the packaging or something. It smells like vinegar. So probably after I work out today, I am going to wash it because I'm gonna hand wash both of these things um, just because I don't wanna throw it in the laundry. I think you can machine wash it, which is really good. Uh, for lazy people like myself, but for active wear that I spent a good amount of money on, I'm gonna hand wash it. The price point compared to quality is A+. plus. The leggings were $40. That's not bad actually, because they're so similar to Lululemon, but they're like less than half of the price. So that's A+. plus. So $40 for these and only 25 for this sports bra. The other one that's like a high, higher neck, um, is a little bit more expensive, but I went with this one because I like the design on it. I don't really like stuff high around my neck, especially when I'm working out. I, in general, don't like high necked items clothing wise, so I don't know why I would pick that. Um, when I jump up and down, yeah, I think it's pretty supportive. I mean, probably the higher neck one is more supportive, but I don't really care. Again, I work out at home and stuff, so if the girls are like, going up and down just a little bit, that's fine. I absolutely fell in love with the back of it since it's like this mesh material. So that is pretty much my overview like this. I'll show you guys in the body mirror so you can see a little bit better. So this is what the set looks like, full body, and I honestly think it complements me so well. Um, look at this, look how flat. Oh my gosh, guys, oh my gosh. Yeah, don't pay attention to that, that's embarrassing but whatever. Honestly, this isn't because the band is too tight. It's literally just because I'm bigger around there. It's not the, it's not the bra's fault that it's like that. Look at though, it like really sucks you in and the length is perfect. I think Karen got that really well and I'm really happy with it overall. I also want to say I was watching old videos and I did this like really weird workout video like a really long time ago and I was so skinny. I was like, Alex, girl, how would you get so skinny? But when I was in college, I didn't eat as much as I do now and I walked everywhere. So I got a lot more exercise. So let's put these to the test and work out a bit. Okay, so 
my overall impression of the kick-ass workout set for the everyday um this is the everyday bra and the leggings the bra is perfect i have no complaints at first i was nervous that my girls would be like flopping around and i wouldn't feel like a lot of support in this area but i actually feel a lot of support in this area i don't really have like it's perfect like this is probably my favorite workout top because i really really like it the leggings i really like too but I, what i'm gonna tell you is when you're working out this area i don't know if i got a size too small or what i have no idea i got a medium because i'm normally a size eight in leggings i guess at least that's my lululemon size which i found out recently maybe they're supposed to be really tight but when you're working out it feels like it gets tighter and i don't know if that's because your abs are more engaged during a workout and you are feeling more pressure not pressure but like they're getting worked out so you pay attention to it more in a way it's good because you are reminded to like engage your lower abs and everything but i just felt like when i was like trying to breathe it was like a little bit tight so maybe i got a size too small but honestly i like it because it makes Makes me remember like use your lower abs suck it in and like tighter you know so that's my impression first working out with this attire from kick ass i am probably going to give it one more time just so i get um a better understanding oh i wanted to add two just like the lululemon because there's no seam it's great it's really comfortable but if you have a top fat roll like i do um your top fat roll kind of pushes it so it's not necessarily the leggings fall it's just like gotta lose this so if you have something like that or you have a roll that that pushes stuff down when you crunch like this or bend your body in this motion it will go down a little bit um but i don't that's not the leggings fault i just wanted you guys to know the leggings don't smell like vinegar i know that sounds like really nitpicky and funny but i just have a sensitive nose that's what they smell like so um it's no one's fault it's just funny i do love the way they make my butt look though <laughs> it gives you like really good shape it even like makes my legs look pretty good it makes them look skinnier the next day. finish off the kick-ass review video just got done working out it is friday after this i'm gonna quickly film my friday update on my workout journey okay so i washed these i hand washed them once and then they still smelled like vinegar up here then i tossed them into the washer and dryer like the machines and they still have a little smell. I'm just really sensitive to smells, so you probably don't even realize it. I'm just really hypersensitive to smells. Like if someone walks by and if they're wearing a fragrance, like I can smell it right off the bat. Like I swear, I was probably like a dog in a previous lifetime. It's not like a bad smell, so I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you guys know if you guys have a sensitive nose. Also, I just want to clarify this is not sponsored, affiliated. I bought all of this stuff that I'm wearing. So um, the next thing is the top. It's perfect. I really like it. Um, I have no complaints about it. Um, it doesn't smell like vinegar. As for the logos, I don't see any peeling or anything. I will let you guys know in the comments if I do. I mean, I've only washed these twice and it was back to back. This little thing does roll down, but that's because I have a fat roll up here and we've already established that. Yeah, it's not the leggings fault. It's just, I gotta lose this little rolly right here i wanted to talk about the quality and the price point i think it's spot on i don't think it's overly priced like the lululemon ones so i genuinely think that they're worth it if that's what we're talking about are they worth it are they not they're definitely worth it again i think i got a size too small like i said so nothing about the top the top is awesome you should get the top i'm talking about the leggings more so i think i got a medium or did i get a large i got one or the other i'll put the little receipt on 
on the screen so you guys can see. But I think I got a size too small and that's why they're like a little tight on me, but maybe they're supposed to be tight. I don't really know. I think I could have gotten a size bigger. Other than that, I wanted to do a see-through test. I was looking at myself in the mirror. That's why like I would just wanted to see. I will let you guys determine if they're see-through or not. Can't believe I'm putting my butt near camera. I don't think so. I just see like white and that's because like, I don't know if this is spandex or anything, but I just see white and I think that's the spandex. Maybe in the lighting or whatever, I could see a little pink because my underwear is pink, but I think it was like the lighting. I don't know guys. What do you think? I don't see anything. I think I was seeing the spandex like what it's made out of. Yeah, because if I stretch it really tight, I see uh, it's like more white. And I think that's just the material. They're not like thick, thick, but they're like thicker. So I don't think they're actually see-through or anything. I like the length on them. Uh, I think they're perfect length. I think my Lululemon ones are a little bit too long probably, but these are like the perfect length. Are they worth it? Yes, I think they are worth it. Especially the top, the top's my favorite. Um, if you were just wanting to buy one item, I would say go with the top and then, like I said in my other video about Lululemon, if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. You could get four pairs of leggings for $40 and these are $40, but I think the quality, the H&M ones get holes in them a lot of the time and these, I don't see any holes. I don't see any runs. The Lululemon leggings were running and I think that was because I pulled the tag out, but no runs, like the quality is there. I think that these are worth, definitely worth the money because I haven't had any malfunctions with them. Even if the logo would start to like peel or whatever that has nothing to do with the leggings it just wouldn't have like the peach on it but that's not necessarily like the leggings their quality i guess i mean if you're like in love with the peach then like maybe you'll be heartbroken but that's not quality over like the this item you know what i mean thumbs up if i were to rate them out of 10 i would probably go 9.2 and the reason why is because i'm fat up here and it like rolls down and with all leggings i find that i have to pull them up it's not just these that's my fault it's not the leggings fault but still it's high rating i like them a lot i want to say this too these make my legs look so good. I don't know. I was taking pictures and I was just like, yes. I don't know. They, they like show the definition of the leg. Oh, um, so anyway, I think that is going to be it for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you found it at all helpful, I know, um, Karen's company is new. So I just wanted to make this video so you guys can learn more about the product from like an average consumer, just an, a girl buying leggings. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below with whatever you want. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.